Hey guys, it's Archon. Welcome to Inferno Friday. Today, Travis Day talks about endless dungeons. Jay Wilson admits that the auction house may have hurt the game. And I tell you about the new game that's coming out next week that I'm really excited about. So to start things off, there were a lot of blue posts this week. Uh, the Diablo team has still been really involved in the community. And of course, with PAX East just wrapping up, there's been a lot of posts about that concerning uh, Diablo 3 coming to the console. And if you go to DiabloFans.com, they have a bunch of videos if you want to see more about uh, Diablo 3 coming to the console. But there were some other blue posts uh, from Travis Day and an article from Jay Wilson that I thought were a little bit more interesting. I wanted to cover those. But I definitely suggest checking out the links in the description if you want to hear more about other things because a lot of things happened this week. So Travis Day made a post on a forum. Unfortunately, it wasn't my forum post, but still a nice blue post nonetheless. Uh, and he says that he loves the idea of endless dungeons, which I think is really excited. Uh, really exciting. If you saw my video last week, you know that I made a forum post about the things that I think would be good uh, to be added to Diablo 3, and one of them was an endless dungeon. I think this is one of the best ideas out there to be added to Diablo 3. Of course, it wasn't my idea. Originally, it's been uh, spread around, uh, but we've been talking about it for months now, and I was really excited to hear that Travis Day uh, loves the idea, according to him. Now, he says they can't guarantee it's going to be added to the game. They're trying to figure out how they could add uh, things like that to the game. Uh, but the most exciting part is uh, the very end. He said, I've said on numerous occasions in a perfect world, when a player sits down at their computer for an evening to play Diablo, the question I want them to say to themselves is, what do I feel like doing tonight? Not, okay, time to run Act 3 again. And I've said almost that exact same thing uh, multiple times on my stream. So it was really exciting to see Travis Day say that because I really think that that's the ideal place to have Diablo 3 is to have multiple activities that your character can do to gear up and for you to be able to choose which one you enjoy the most or which one you're best at or which one uh, suits your character's needs at that moment. Uh, I think it'd be a lot more enjoyable because it's true. Right now you get on Diablo and if you really want, if you really care about your character and gearing up, you're just going to run Act 3 over and over again. And not even Act 3, just certain parts of Act 3, of course. Um, and they've already said things that would take us away from that, but an endless dungeon I think would be a great step in the right direction, just giving us something else to do that's challenging, rewarding, and uh, just provides endless content. So thank you, Travis Day, for that post. He gave some other posts, too. So uh, definitely check out Diablo Fans if you haven't seen any of the news this week. A lot of exciting stuff going on. Also, an article here. I'll put a link to this in the description as well. It's from joystick.com. Uh, Diablo fans link to it. And Jay Wilson talks a little bit about the auction house in Diablo 3. And I was excited to see this article as well because it was something else that I talked about in my forum post. Um, but he says that the auction house may have really hurt the game. And uh, I think we've all kind of seen that the auction house has negatively impacted the game in some ways. Uh, some people still like the auction house, of course. Um, but one of the things that he said was, uh, let me see... Uh, gold does more damage than the real money auction house does. And uh, this is also something I said in my forum post. I think the real money auction house uh, really isn't the thing doing the damage. It's the fact that you can go buy the best items in the game off the auction house is doing the damage. If the real money auction house wasn't there, there would still be sites selling gold online and it would be still readily uh, available for people to spend real money to get items. Uh, so the real money auction house, I think it's probably bad for public relations for them. But as far as affecting the game, I think it's just the auction house in general. But they say that they can't get rid of the auction house right now because they don't really know uh, how many players are for the auction house versus how many players are against the auction house. And I feel that even if it's a small group of players that are for the auction house, you can't really take away a feature that big once you put it into the game. It's really You're really going to upset the players. So uh, I agree with how Jay Wilson felt in this article. And uh, plus one to Jay for being honest and admitting that the auction house didn't turn out how they wanted to and has really hurt the game. I think that's uh, really cool of them to be so transparent and honest recently as well as being so interactive with the community. So this is a fun article and you should check it out real quick if you have some time to read it over. It's just three paragraphs, so it's really short. Okay, so those are the two news-related things about Diablo I want to talk about, but I do want to mention one other thing. Defiance. If you haven't heard of Defiance yet, it's going to be a video game and a TV show on sci-fi. So uh, from what I understand, it's an MMO RPG third-person shooter. And uh, I had heard about it, but wasn't too interested in playing it until I talked to Datmods. Datmods, another streamer, has been playing it, and he says he really likes it. He comes out this next Tuesday, April 2nd, and so I think I'm going to pick up it, pick it up and uh, play it a bit on the stream, because 
it looks like it could be a lot of fun. And I think it's a really cool idea having a TV show that corresponds with the video game. Um, for, for all I know, it's the first time they're doing this. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, and usually, the first time with new ideas are a little shaky. So we'll see how it goes out. Uh, turns out, but if it turns out well, I could see this becoming a trend with maybe some bigger uh, TV channels or game companies. However, Defiance itself looks like a really fun game. Um, it's all skill shots. It's not traditional MMO where you're choosing. You're just pushing the buttons after selecting a target. And uh, the gameplay looks really exciting. So, uh, yeah, come on by the stream next week, and I should be playing a little bit of Defiance after my normal Diablo 3 stream. So, that's it for news and updates today. Uh, we're going to do our weekly item giveaway now. Last week's winner was TK Han, TK Han85. He wanted the Zuni's chest. Uh, it's this chest right here with 171 int, 230, uh, yeah, 231 vite, and 78 all resist. If you win an item on the channel, all you have to do is come on over by twitch.tv. Let me know you won the item either in chat or through a message, and I'll get it to you as soon as possible after having you prove that it's really you on YouTube. So I'm going to show you the five items this week. If one of them is an upgrade for you or something you'd like, let me know in the comments below. We'll randomly pick one comment, and that person will get the item they asked for. So we have this wishing hour with 71 all res. We have some Zuni's boots just added with 47 all res, 8% poison damage, 161 int, and 84 bite. We have a Dead Man's Legacy with 19 attack speed, 6 mass maximum discipline, and plus to elemental arrow damage. A Boulder Breaker with over 1500 damage, 161 crit hit damage, and reduce the cost of Hammer the Ancients by 3. And this Inner's Chest with some pretty high stats, 185 dex, 95 bite, 41 fire res, and uh, only 10% life, but really good for a fire res monk. So again, leave a comment below if one of those items is good for you. Uh, stop on by the stream. If you're watching this video today, which is Friday, then I'm having a 6-hour hardcore self-found race against dat mods, so definitely swing by and check that out. Uh, the link's in the description to go to my stream, but come by anytime. Hit follow on the stream and you'll know when I'm streaming. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe. I'll have another one for you soon.